Hey everybody, how's it going today? Ian back here with you, Entertainment Examiner. Hey, I'm going to be reviewing the new Clint Eastwood film, The 1517 to Paris. This is the true story of how three Americans, uh, Anthony Sadler, Alex Scarlatos, and Spencer Stone, um, were on a train from Amsterdam to Paris, France. And on the way, a uh, ISIS terrorist was on board, and they were successful in taking him down and uh, thwarting the attack, which could have been very, uh, very deadly and cost just way too many lives. Um, this is, th this is th the story of those three American heroes, and um, Clint Eastwood uh, directs this film as well as, as he directs any film and gives us all three of, of their stories. They met when they were very young in a Christian school and uh, grew up together. Most of the movie is set on Stone's story as he enters into the military and, and um, also uh, Scarlato goes in, 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 into the military too and um, fights in Afghanistan. Um, the interesting thing about the, this movie is that all three real men portrayed themselves in the movie, which um, at first I thought was a really interesting thing, because I don't know if I've ever seen that before. And the fact that they would have to relive this really terrible event, I thought was interesting that they would be willing to do that on film. Um, the end result is not so great. Uh, the train scene is very well done, which is about the last 15 minutes, and we get a little bit interspersed throughout. It's only a 95 minute movie. Um, unfortunately, the three guys who are playing themselves, they're not actors, so it's hard to really, they're not very engaging on screen, and as much as I, as I understand this is the, this is the real guys, it, it's the way they are, it doesn't necessarily make for a good movie, it would probably make for a better documentary, and I've been hearing that argument a lot too, and it, it kind of starts out documentary-esque, but then it turns into this feature film. And their story, most of the story is just uh, uh, Sadler and Stone backpacking through Europe until they meet up with Scarlatos and get on the train. And those parts really aren't that, that inter interesting either. I mean, their lives are interesting to a point, but it's... I mean, you pretty much are going there to see the event on the train that be made them the uh, uh, heroes that they surely should be. And the ending, I think, is good. They show the real footage of the president of France giving them a high honor there. But I, um, I just found that this entire movie was just kind of there. Um, I, I I appreciated what Eastwood was trying to do and the concept behind it and getting the three real men um, in the movie was a very interesting concept, but I didn't find their backstories to be that all that riveting. And he concentrated on Stone much more than the other two, which I thought was a little odd. If you're going to make a movie about three guys, I think you should give them all equal time, maybe. Um, and I just don't think that the movie as a whole works. You know, this is, of course, not to diminish their, their uh, uh, heroism or their service, or Eastwood's direction, or anything. It's just, looking at it objectively as a critic, it's just not, as a movie, it's just not a very good whole. It's, it's not a very good piece. So, I mean, I want to give it a 2 out of 4, about a, about a C rating. Um, it was a movie that was just kind of there. You know, I think that a documentary about this event, and the stories being told in maybe a dramatized fashion would have been a much more interesting concept than making a movie about these three guys and even their and I read that that their dialogue was somewhat improvised too and that kind of shows because it's not very the dialogue's a little wooden so I think the movie has a good concept I think it's a good idea but I think that the end, end result just doesn't work as a whole so that's my review of 1517 to Paris. If you if you disagree with me, let me know. I'd, I'd love to hear to hear your opinion on that. Um, if you do agree with me, let, let me know that too. Let me know what you thought of the movie. 
and um, it's playing in theaters now, PG-13 rating. And that is all I have for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.